all about you feeling absolutely welcome. Uh, and that's what I want you to know. The city council welcomes you. Uh, I, as the mayor of the city, welcomes you. And when you think how far we have come together, uh, this event just says so much about us. Think in the 40 years that pride has been taking place in the city of Atlanta. From where we've been. Uh oh, we got another party crash. Come on in here. Councilwoman Joyce Shepherd is here as well. But it says so much about how far we've all come that we can stand here on the rooftop of Atlanta City Hall proudly and completely comfortable and just enjoy each other's company and fellowship. That says so much about the city of Atlanta. It talks about where we have been and where we're going. And the only thing we're going to do is be a better and better and better city for the LGBT community. Because what I believe in, thank you. Because what I believe in is full partnership. I'm fortunate enough to lead an administration where I have eight senior members of my administration. And I'm proud to say that we don't have to work to have a LGBT liaison anyway. What we have are partners. Reese McCraney is my deputy communications director. He's involved in every major decision the city of Atlanta makes. Luz Barrero is the deputy chief operating officer of the city of Atlanta, period, no questions asked. The bottom line is when big decisions are made in the city of Atlanta, we don't have to reach out because gay and lesbian people are already in the room, and that is as it should be, because that's who Atlanta is. I also want you to know that we are working very hard with the City of Atlanta Police Department to change the culture of that department so that it's very clear that there will be no tolerance, no tolerance for aggressive behavior uh, towards members of the community who are very important to me. And that's why I am absolutely thrilled to announce the presence of Senior Patrol Officer Patricia Powell and Officer Brian Sharp, our liaisons for the police department. <laughs> We've also created an LGBT advisory board uh, to help make the city of Atlanta police force better. But aside from that, we've done something more. We have worked harder this year to make sure that Atlanta Pride and its board had a flawless process. So that no matter what the request was, the answer from my administration was absolutely yes And how fast can we get it done. Because you show what you care about by how you treat people where you spend your time, and where you spend your attention. So I'm ready to get my pride on for the rest of the week. I have a robust pride schedule. I plan on dancing and celebrating and enjoying the parade and all of the festivities. But please leave here today knowing that you're welcome in the city of Atlanta, and we want you to have an extraordinary time. And come back for your 41st, 42nd, 43rd, 44th, 45th, 46th, 47th, and 48th. Notice I count eight years. <laughs>